Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as you know that we are on chapter number two, that is microorganisms, and today I will deliver its seventh lecture. So, my dear students, as you know that we are learning all about different types of microorganisms and how um, they help us and how they may not help us. So, my dear students, uh, today we are discussing about fungi. And let's quickly look at the recap first. Quickly listen to the questions very carefully and then answer them. Give any two examples of fungi. Very good. The mushrooms, uh, they are also uh, fungus. Uh, next is and penicillium. Yeast is unicellular or multicellular? It is multicellular. Very good. So, fungi are heterotrophs. Why? because they cannot prepare their own food and they need energy from other sources. So, that is why they are called heterotrophs. Very good. So, my dear students, fungus on bread here, you can see that when bread jo hai, it becomes older, fungus starts growing on it. And then here you can again see Okay, bread ko agar aap bahut dino tak garam jaga par pada rehne de, you will not keep it into the fridge. Even when it is inside the fridge, agar it is very much older, to fungus jo hai, wo aapko visibly iske upar grow hoti hui nazar aati hai. And this is bread molding. So my dear students, in today's lecture, the students will be able to identify the main groups of microorganisms and give example for each. So my dear students, because we have microorganisms in different groups, ke mein study kar rahe hai, we have already studied about virus, bacteria and fungi. And today we are going to perform an experiment on fungi. So my dear students, we will learn uh, molding of bread through an experiment. So, my dear students, uh, let's quickly look at the Islamic perspective. Allah says in Quran, I swear by what you see and what you do not see. So, my dear students, the pre-reading question, quickly answer the question. What is fungi? It is an heterotroph. Uh, it could be multicellular or unicellular. It is a microorganism. So, can fungi grow anywhere? They usually grow in warm places. And now here is your experiment. Uh, experiment number three, quickly open it in your science five books, chapter number two. I hope everybody has opened the experiment number three. Let's quickly look what we need to do. Let's quickly first <coughs> look at the instructions. To observe the growth of some microbes on edible material. So the material that is required is bread, airlock bags and marker. So, the procedure is take three bread slices. So, we how many slices we need? We need three bread slices. Number them as one, two, three. Hum bags ko number kar lenge. And we also need three airlock bags. Use your hands to touch the bread in three ways. Rub the slice number one with your dirty hands. Rub the slice number two with your clean hands. And do not rub anything on slice number three. So, then place the pieces of bread separately in airlock bags. Mark the bags with the significant conditions you applied on the bread. Observe the bread inside the bags on the alternate days. Result and observation. Bread with condition 1 showed growth of fungi rapidly. The bread with condition 2 showed growth of fungi slowly. Whereas condition 3 showed no growth of fungi even after many days. So everyday science take care of edible products at home. These get affected by microorganisms quickly. <laughs> So, my dear students, now let's perform the experiment. So, for this experiment, as you know, the instruction, instructions, material, required we need three bread slices, one, two, and three. And we need three airlock bags, one, two, and three. First of all, I will number the airlock bags, number one, number two, and number three. And after that, one by one, I will write down the conditions. Let's first write down the conditions. Dirty hands, then clean hands, and this will be untouched. So, now first of all, the number one with dirty hands. So, I will play, put my right hand everywhere, and now it has germs all over it, and I will rub it on this. Slice, slice number one. I will rub it like this, okay? And I will put it inside bag number one. So, because it is airtight, 
So I will put it inside bag number 1. Close it properly. And then I will do slice number slice number 1 and this hand of mine is totally clean. I will rub it with my left hand. And now I will place it in the bag number 2 which says that it is the bread with clean hands. And I will not rub anything on slice number 3. Properly close it. Nothing on slice number 3. It will remain untouched. And we will lock it into bag number 3. And now I will keep them in the same conditions and I will keep check checking them every day or the after every two days. And then what we will see that there will be rapid growth on bread number 1 and slow growth on bread number 2. And there will, you will not find any growth on um, bread number 3. So that means ke jo cheese dirty jaga par rakhi bhi hoti hai, microbes definitely grow on that. Here you can see one, two and three slices. So this is how you will perform your experiment. Okay my dear students, so we will uh, find different conditions here ki jis mein jo hai wo uh, bread number one mein rapid growth hogi, bread number two mein slow growth hogi or bread number three mein there may be small growth or may not be any growth for many days. So, in this way, we know that we should keep more of our home things. So, my dear students, these will be the conditions that you will find on the bread number 1. This will be on bread number 2. Very small, your slow growth of fungus and the bread number 3 will remain safe without any growth of microbes. So, my dear students, perform this experiment at your homes. So, for practice, write down the procedure in stepwise manner. Aapko jo procedure humne abhi perform kiya hai, usko proper steps ke andar jo hai, aapko likhna hai. Then, write observation and results. You will also write down the observations and results ke aapne kya observe kiya after a few days. To tab aap iski observation likhenge. And write everyday signs also. Ke daily basis ke upar aapko kya karna chahiye apne edibles ke saath. We must keep them safe in refrigerator, properly covered and away from dirty place or um, the place that has germs or maybe you feel ke yaha pe microbes ho sakte. So, for your homework, you will perform this experiment and the evaluation how many slices of bread would you take? We will take three slices according to the experiment and where would you place the piece of bread? In the Ziploc bag and we will place it in a uh, not in the fridge outside here. We will keep normal temperature. Mein rakhenge. What materials are required for the experiment? Ziploc bags, bread marker. So, for your homework, you will do this worksheet. You can download this from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form by your teacher. So, what you need to do is you will write the procedure along with the result and observation of three applied condition on the bread in stepwise manner. Jo three conditions aap note karenge apni bread ke upar after a few days, aap unko yaha apni observations ko stepwise likhenge. Number one, number two, number three. Okay, that is how you will complete it. So, you will do it in your homework and also perform the experiment at your homes with the bread. You can do it in, the, in your class also, but do perform it at your homes and also tell your mother that fungus, how fungus grows, that it is also a microbe and it grows mostly on dirty places and places which are very warm. So, this is how you will complete it. So, my dear students, today we have learned that take care of edible products at your home. These get affected by microorganisms. And in procedure, mark the bags with bread with significant conditions you apply to the bread. So, my dear students, uh, in the next lecture, we will discuss about microorganisms, the role of microorganisms at decomposers. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed today's experiment. Uh, for the next lecture, stay tuned. Keep everybody around you safe. Have a good day. Thank you so much. And Allah Hafiz.